It is hard to believe we're looking at the latter half of 2019, but that means the clock is ticking if you're planning to get your stuff stored at a coach house garage before we close this decade. Oh, I hate to say decade too. <laughs> Greg Smith is a coach house rep and he's here to take some of that stress off your plate. Welcome back. Thanks, Yvonne. Always good to be here. So what kind of a timeline are we looking at? I know a lot of folks will wait until the weather starts to get a little chill in the air before they pick up the phone and think about the car being in the snow again. Yes. This time of year, we encourage folks, even though it's really hot out now, to give us a call and get scheduled so we can be sure we get a new building up for you before the cold weather hits. Because a lot of times, that's when we'll start to get the calls after the first frost. And in many cases, it's too late. Too late. Too late for that year. <laughs> so it's the next spring then before we can come. Gotcha. So what does that scheduling entail? Remind us. Well, a simple phone call to us to arrange an appointment so we can come visit with you about your wishes for your building. And then typically uh, it takes about three to four weeks from the time we arrive to start scratching the dirt to get ready to pour the concrete. And there are actually a building standing there that you can use. So three to four weeks from start to finish? Correct. Wow, that's pretty good. That's pretty average. Give or take, the weatherman, of course, ties our hands behind our back. And so <laughs> yes. everything flows around that. But, uh, but that's a fairly typical schedule. And that's something to be mindful of as well. Are your folks doing okay in this heat? Do you take a break and sort of tell the homeowner, we need to take a break, it's too hot to be working today? Are there adjustments there? That's an excellent question. Yes, there is, particularly on the concrete side, because concrete, while a wonderful product, when it is cured and hard, it can be fussy getting it placed, so too hot is one of the conditions you don't pour in. Okay. When it gets into the middle 90s like it is today as we speak, then it's not a good idea to pour because the sun will dry it out too soon and it'll crack quicker, which is something we know concrete will always do, but mm -hmm. we like to push that date back as far as we can. And then too cold, of course, folks generally know if it gets below freezing, you don't pour. And a couple other things, if it's too wet or even too windy, those are days you don't want to pour on. So taking a break depending on the weather is really dependent on the homeowner's, is really part of the homeowner's best interest. Correct. And of course, also selfishly in our guy's best interest, Surely. we don't want them out in extreme heat. It's not healthy as we all know. And you can build a coach house garage for just about any need to suit you. We got what she sheds, garages for extra cars, Correct. pool storage houses, mm -hmm. runs the gamut. You bet. Anything uh, popular this year? Well, uh, the same thing that's always popular. <laughs> I need place for, I've got more stuff than I have room for. <laughs> and so we're grateful. That's why we're in business. Fantastic. And that's why uh, we're glad. In fact, I was in Morton this morning uh, having a conversation with a couple across the street from the project we're working on. They said, come on over. We need to talk about it. <laughs> and we'd love to hear those yeah. stories. Thanks for being with us here on <laughs> Living you, Well. Yvonne. All the best through this season. Coach House Garages. You can reach them at coachhousegarages.com or 697-2020.